Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode two. And I had done a little bit of off camera mining, not a lot, but I just wanted to get some diamonds and I got sick of diamonds. So I want to, I actually was looking in the book. Apparently, there's like, yeah, these new things, like we can create some of these cool items. So, like, I think it said like a diamond pickaxe there, two redstone, and I think. Iron and was it a stick here? Wait, what was it again? I forget. Like there was for vein mine. Oh, two redstone. Oh, iron. Yeah. So there's no wood at all. Okay, so let's do this again. So there's the pickaxe, three iron, one there, and two redstone. Wait. Why is it not crafting? Wait, what the heck? Oh, it's two. I thought it was three. And then decapitator is same thing. Okay. So wait, I can just go in here. Okay. I have no idea how this works. So I, so like, how does this thing work? Like, I mine it with this? Or do I mine it with this? Oh, oh, that actually is so good. Finally, these big trees can be gone. So this is how it works. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, this is good. Oh, this saves me so much time with mining all this. Oh my gosh, I am happy. Wait, does it, oh, regardless where you hit, oh, that's, Sick. I I love this thing so much already. It, so much time I had to do to get rid of these and man, they took forever. But apparently you had to have it in inventory. Oh, it does double. Wait a second. Is this like the create mod? If you do it like this, does it break? Oh, it does. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I have a thought. If I do this and like that, go like this, actually break it like this also. Oh, so. oh, this is, oh, this is going to be OP if I just found something really cool. I like this. Wait, does it go with birch also? Oh, I will, I will find out. <laughs> Just in a bit. Oh, it doesn't do birch. It only does one type of log. But oh, this is so good. I like this. I have so much wood already. I'm happy. Oh, this is such a great mod or add on or whatever you say it. I like this. Bean miner. So. This is just the greatest thing I have ever used. Like this. I am so happy on this. This just makes life so much easier. Oh my gosh. I am the tree chopper of this ever. You don't even need a shop because this. They have so much time. Well, it doesn't get rid of the leaves, but at least it helps with all the wood. Because I like this so much. Oh man, I'll be happy with this. But I want to test out how it'll work with Vein Miner. Like, how does Vein Miner work with this? Because I have no idea. Like, I know there's bunch of ore down here and I want to see how this works. So like if I break you, it breaks that. And ooh, that helps. I think Nina died there. But oh this helps so much with the with that. I like this countless hours of mining just cut in some amount of time. One thing I noticed it does not drop in the same area where 
you just find it. So there's that part. Oh no. We're getting hit by mobs. Actually, there is some coal up here. I know this. Where I actually was coming up the stream. Uh, I don't want these googlies. Man, they keep killing me. Man, it's all early game and it's so hard. Come on. Oof. This helps a lot. Oh, I got a lot of iron and copper. Oh, this helps a lot. I like the things. So, man, this will help a lot. I'm happy, happy, happy. Oh, this is cool. And I'm gonna get rid of you. Um, wait, why did it, wait, what? Did it just change? I did not do that. Um, I did not. How did it just change into two of the same thing? It's not supposed to be that. What the heck? Yeah, apparently I'm logging in and out. They're not doing anything. It's still the same thing. So apparently, um. I just lost my vein miner, but I think the vein miner didn't really help as much because apparently it does not drop it in the same area. So that's disappointing, but at least I can put all of this away. <laughs> oh man, this is actually great stuff, but I am definitely going to be chopping a lot of those trees down. I don't actually want to get more spruce, so... I will be back. I let me go to spawn and chop down every single spruce tree. I think. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Actually, I'm gonna down a lot of these ones here. Uh, I'll be back with all of these spruce. I'll be for my uh, axe breaks. So let's go on a tree chopping montage then. Like, I just found a group of trees and I just put it like this. And if you just, I mean, why iron one block? All of this goes. And then this is satisfying when it all breaks. It's just so cool. But one thing is, I don't like about the vein miner is um, this has infinite durability. So, um, um I kind of feel like it's a little bit too OP. So, I kind of want to do something where like it's not that OP. And, Oh <laughs> man, it really is. Spawn's gone with all of these trees, so like, if someone wants to grab a bunch of big trees, um, they're gonna be kinda gone. Oh man. And they, the tree miner, the recapitator, the, uh, whatever. Uh, this thing is OP, and I like it. Man, this thing is OP, but I have so much spruce, I don't, I won't be needing to mine spruce and all. For a very, very long time. That's pretty good. So let's. But one thing is, if I have enough gunpowder, I actually think I can create the TNT pickaxe. I just wonder how good it is. Does it have durability? Does it not have durability? There's only that one thing that I can understand. Why did the my vein miner one turn into a tree compact, a timber tree thing? Uh, I have no idea. And honestly, that's kind of annoying. And yeah. I just don't know why it done that. So yeah. So I got some gunpowder and a little bit of sand. Took a while to get that gunpowder. And uh Mew came over. I told her to like can grab some like nine stacks of uh spruce wood since like with being my the trick uh this thing is pretty easy to actually I opened it up, but I do want to create this. Oh yeah, the explosive pickaxe. I wonder how powerful this thing is. Does it even have any durability? Because I, I have no idea. Okay, it has a little bit of uh, explosive, but uh, it doesn't have durability apparently. But I, I think this will help me uh, gain some diamonds, maybe. How fast can I find diamonds with this type of pickaxe? I do want to light up this whole area first a little bit. 
So let's go down here and see how fast I mine with this thing. I just wonder because I have no idea. Oh. Okay, so it mine's pretty good actually. I think this is not bad. Oh, I like this. This helps. I'm already a deep slate. Well, this actually mine's really good. I didn't even mind that for so long and Okay, uh, this is actually pretty good. I got lapis already? Holy lord, that is fast. This is really fast. I wonder, I wonder how powerful that... Oh, I'm already in a new cave. Okay. Let's just open this up a little bit more. Just so it can be open. Oh, oh boy. This is a powerful pickaxe. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. And I'm dead. Just great. I... This looks like a natural cave almost. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, got some iron. Okay. My stuff back. I need to put my armor. Uh. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Like, well, this is actually pretty good cave, actually. So, I might be able to find maybe nine diamonds? I want to find that, like, I want to gain that other pickaxe. <laughs> because it sounds really powerful. I don't see any diamonds. Oh, I do, I do see a diamond. Yes. Okay. Uh, break multiple blocks at the same time. Okay. It does not seem well, actually it does not have fortune three or efficiency on it, but I do wonder. Oh this is this is nice. I got two diamonds. Oh Oh got some gold. Wait, can I? Somehow almost have a straight line or no? My thoughts are no. Oh, but I see another diamond. Oh, whoa. What? I've, I've had 10 diamonds. I have enough diamonds to make that pickaxe. Okay, okay. I actually I have a little bit more than enough. Oh, this is a cool cave. I like this. Okay, let's just test this out. Like, I'm at level 42. Let's just run as straight as possible. Okay, I just hit another cave. And nothing down here. Oh no, 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 no. Please don't, don't do this to me. Yeah, I think it's time to get out of this cave because I'm about to die. But I do want to test out. Can I gain just a little bit more diamonds? Just for like maybe a diamond chest plate or something. I just want at least something. Um, torch. This pickaxe is actually pretty powerful, but why does it not have any durability? It's like Terraria. Or something, you know? Yep. Infinite durability on a pickaxe until you get a better one or something, you know? I feel it's like literally just Terraria. And Minecraft. <laughs> Dang. This is such an explosive start. Like, I'm not even that far. Like, it's only episode 2 and I'm already like have a OP pickaxe. I... Like... You should have at least put some, like, durability on this. This is, like, really OP. Oh, I found a diamond. Oh, 20, 25 diamonds. Okay, I think there's a small chance where it gives you fortune three. Okay, so I have the diamonds. And apparently, it's apparently just three diamond pickaxes. And, oh, yeah. This is multi-block. 
and you and it says in the guidebook that it breaks like it breaks like multiple blocks efficiency five and fortune three already on it so it's pretty op right there omni tool it was a uh, Oh, I don't have enough because I need honey blocks. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. This mod is so good. So to me, let me make a diamond sword. I already have some diamond armor already. And this is just episode two. I wonder how good is it on iron? Like how much iron am I gonna get? Oh, as I thought, I was right. It does break three by three. Oh, uh, oh, that is fast. Oh, this is faster than having a beacon. I, I dug so much already. Oh my god, this is, this is so fast. <laughs> this is the fastest thing I've ever had. Oh man, I am gonna destroy this world. Oh my god. This tools thing I kind of feel it's a little bit too open. and it doesn't gain have any durability why does it not do that oh man I am gonna have a super smelter so early game oh my god <laughs> oh I'm OP already like a little bit but not like super but not like it okay so I just came back from a little bit of a trip going that way and a little bit this way not a big ravine or cave, like so mega. It's like at 150, negative 200 ish. And I was exploring the well, world, trying to figure out like maybe where I should build or something. But I kind of want to find a good area with everyone else. But I think this place would be a pretty good area to build a starter base. But I also got like apparently uh, almost a stack of obsidian just from this pickaxe alone. And I forget. Um, wasn't there a thing in the guidebook where, like, the red? Yeah, okay, so it's four ingots and one obsidian. Why get that? Actually, wait, how much is the infrared? Okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. It would be expensive anyways, because this, these things are really OP. And we got another add-on, or mod, uh, for episode 2, where we have the farming update, like, where, a well, farming add-on. Oh, wait, there's, oh, there's bison, yeah. These actually hit, like, a truck. I had, like, diamond helmet and chest plate, and I only got, like, three heart. I was on three hearts, so, like, and there was just a small one. They hit, like, a truck. Don't mess with these, like, if you have, like, some good armor, if you don't have good armor, they can one-shot you. Uh, there's crows, deer, ducks, goose, peacocks, quails. I saw the turkey. I did not see the yak. Okay, and what else? There's crops, crafting recipes, others. Uh, what are the others? The juicer, scarecrows. Okay, that's cool. Plates, watering can. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I have to go in into these more in, more into detail because I have no idea what am I getting myself into. But one thing is I should do is put away some of these. Actually, I should put away. I got a not a golden apple. I uh, do want to put away that for now. Uh, didn't I? Have, no, I don't have a flint and steel because I did not make a flint and steel yet. Oh man, I have not been into the nether, and this is going to be interesting. If I actually get a blaze spawner, I can have a blaze spawner in the overworld, and when like 1.21 comes out, I make a bunch of like these uh, new bulbs, like copper bulbs. That would be so cool. And apparently with these uh, warp stones, apparently I found out that you will need these special crystals if you want to interdimensionally travel. So um, that's quite expensive. Okay. Okay, this might be a little dangerous, and I want this to be safe. And for Nina also, because like, I know Nina, like, uh... <laughs> okay, so, we just made a little bit of an area to have this safe for all of us. Oh no. Oh no, I just done something really bad. 
I don't know what I do here, but I mean, take at least a tunnel here. Oh no, no. Oh god, I almost fell into lava. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, that would have been literally very dangerous for me. Oh man, the first death in the nether? So lava. I want to see. Ain't that common? Yeah, no. I'm not doing that. Nope. Uh, just block this off because I do not want to do that right there. Hmm. Wait, the lead lava? Well, that's a first. I'm fine to lava. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. I mined a lava. How about that? So, wait, if I can mine lava, does that mean I can mine water? Mine the lava for the first time. That is just weird. I never expected to say that sentence ever. Okay, now we're back. So, I think it's been a pretty productive ish day, right? I need to find some. Wait, what is this? I think this is a peach tree. Okay, wait. Wait, what happens if I... Oh, I right-click. Pears. That's what... I don't know how much hunger that was because I only saw one, but uh, okay. But what's with the plate? Because honestly, I'm confused. Can I place it? Okay, you can make plates. Give me... me 30. Can I... Oh, I can place all of them here. Okay, so there's a couple of things I have to say. One, this mod is super OP and um, yeah, it has some things that haven't been nerfed. So like this pickaxe has no durability, same with this one. And the, um, apparently the one that like can pick up spawners, it has at least durability, but it's super broken. So like if you have this wrench, I actually um, gained a lot of um, illegal blocks. Yeah, this, after I gained them, it kind of broke me. And the way it did, I gained eight spawners, but here's how it actually broke me. Apparently, if you place it down, well, if you go into the world and like, find a spawner and break it, it can change to which one you want. So like, you can see how I gained so many. So like, if you have the spider one, for example, you have a zombie, and when we hover over it, it's a zombie spawn. This mod broke me. I don't know how I feel about this. And then before I came to um have to break spawners, uh, actually I did break them, but then like problem is like I told Ashley to like remove it because it's way too OP and it can break the world a little bit because. There's also another one where you can apparently um break end portal frames and pretty much go to your own end portal. And I was thinking of going to the end, and then like breaking the end portal so like no one else can go, but then I just didn't want to do that. But then like it just broke me and thing is it was removed, but then Nina wanted to have it back. I like it, but it needs to be nerfed. I was a bit of a forest, never there too. And all of that. I actually said to Nina, if I have it on for a week, then we're gonna get cooked. Meaning that if I have this mod, I apparently will build everything before everyone else will have a chance. You can see how broken this is with this one pickaxe alone. Making all of this in this one pickaxe. And apparently, I do not know why I even took all of this obsidian. I do not know why. Clue, what am I going to do with all of this obsidian? Is this considered cheating if I have bomb spawners just from a mod? But the thing is, in vanilla it is cheating, but if it's from a mod, like the Kray mod can do it. But if you have a tree connected to a villager's house, like the elf logs, and apparently it gets rid of the whole roof also. So there's a lot of things that can um, feel like it'll be abused a lot. Diamond shovel to like clear out this area. And I made this uh, a little bit Nina proof. The thing is, in Realm Stories, I 
found a wooden mansion by accident while I was trying to find a beehive so Nina can make an Omni tool. Okay, so I have this tin tea pick that I actually have for Nina, and I actually want to give it to her because like she actually really wants this tin tea pick. Well, so I mean, uh, where mean. are you, Nina? Are you in the Nether? Yes, yes, I am. What's the quartz? Uh, I'm coming. Don't worry. You uh... should find the pathway. There's a pathway in your pathway that goes to my pathway of the whole mining thingy. I have half a stack of ancient debris, Steam. Half a stack? Yeah. I've been mining for two hours. Hey, Nina. So, like, yeah. Here's your TNT pickaxe. Yeah, it's really OP. <laughs> uh, what? A bucket. I don't have a bucket. Okay, can you grab me a bucket? Uh, uh we can take I need a key. bucket of lava. No, I needed a bucket. If I cannot vlamba for what? To remember to clear the blocks. Oh, okay, so what if we had a race? Who can find each like what's faster? Your TNT one or like this or this one? Yeah, this thing is way faster and also I think I already mined some ancient debris. I found already one ancient debris. Bro, this TNT pickaxe is like crazy but also a mess. It does not build a good pathway. Steve, yeah, I can't yeah, find the pathway sure. now. Which would, which way was the way that we had our- I think it was this way. Yeah, it was that way. That's why I don't use a TNT pick, because it, it's not very good. You sure it's this way? Yes, it is, because I came this way. Wow, Steve, that was very offensive to say. <laughs> say what? You know what you said. I don't know what I said. I don't know either. I, think we, I don't think we came this way. Yes, we did. I don't even know what you're even talking about. He's so innocent. You're an adult yeah, and you're so innocent. I actually want to make a warp stone to the Badlands. In Realm Stories, it's like in here, yeah. Like Realm Stories, like you can see the Badlands. And I'm thinking of going to there. But just sitting the warp stone. But I think I should mine a lot of gold for like maybe some bills because honestly, I don't see use for gold. So like I actually gonna make a warp stone to there. And then mine a lot of gold, and maybe in the have like raw gold blocks for like I don't know, for some cool builds. So I have made some warp stones to violence and Max's area, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like all these like custom trees are actually pretty cool for the fruit. But honestly, this area looks really cool. I wonder if there's an ancient city underneath that mountain. But I think that would be a way cooler area to like set up my base. But I think I want to make a temporary one at spawn or something. Because it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think um, let's go to the Badlands and set up this warp stone. I actually want to uh, I mean, like, get some like, I don't know, some terracotta so I can like have some like things to do. But I'm going to have these set up because like, I know it's like 16, but it's part of the mod. I have to like think this over. But I know like the create mod hand move this, but uh, I think it's a, like a cooler way. But also one thing is I found out that if you have like a warp stone right next to another one and you mine it with this pick, it dupes the other one. So like it's even more broken. So you can get free warp stones without even knowing. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to uh, the bandons and set this up. Off I go. And with that, we have a beautiful uh, copper warp stone. I did not know there was a horse. <laughs> That horse actually looks pretty cool. But I think this is a pretty good area to end off. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next episode. And also I find some coral there. It's actually pretty good for a reef over there. So yeah, uh, see you next episode. Goodbye.